Hey, what up guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about the 100 Front End Interview Question Challenge. It's a Udemy course. I really enjoy it. It's by my friend Dylan Israel. Today we're going to talk about the contents of this course. We're going to talk about what you guys get if you buy it. And if you stay all the way to the end, there's actually something special for you guys, so make sure you do. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full-stack software developer. And by the way, throughout this whole video, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below, and you guys are going to be able to click on that. You can be able to get the course. Udemy is having sales all the time. I think you can get it probably for like $11, $12. And if you do, I actually get a couple dollars of uh, commission. I actually get a, a couple of bucks, and it actually helps Dylan and me out. So, you know, check it out. Make sure you click on that. that. So, you can see here, this is the 100 Front End Interview Question Challenge. And what, the, what the, basically this is, it's 100 questions that are all about web development. They're all about how to get that front end interviewing job. So I'm going to go through the course here and talk about some things that I've learned by going through this course myself. Um, and I have clicked and watched a bunch of these videos. Of course, I haven't watched them all. It's over 10 hours of content, nine and a half hours of content. It's a pretty new course right now. There's about 100 students enrolled, but it's already has a five star ranking on it. So it's pretty high up there. And uh, also, Patrick Siu, Siu is another of uh, the creator of the course, too. So it's both of them. So uh, let's take a look at this. So we have, it's different. Uh, I'm going to go into each one of these sections more in depth. But just for an overview right now, you can see there's an introduction where he talks about what you're going to learn. We have JavaScript, where we have all these different JavaScript questions that you see every day, like JavaScript data types, const, let, and var, a map versus filter, things like that. Then we go into asynchronous JavaScript, some HTML, CSS, some more general type questions that you might see in an interview. Do you have any questions for me? Interview prep, and then uh, interview uh, additional resources at the end of it. And so this is great for anyone that's looking to get a front end development interview job. Uh, it's also great for anyone that's just uh, new to web development and trying to get into that profession. So here's the description they mentioned. So it uh, each includes three main items, insight into why a question is asked and what an interview is looking for, uh, how to answer the question, and if applicable, code examples, additional detail. So you'll see, you'll notice a lot of the questions that Dylan asks, they're all, uh, what he'll do is he'll actually stand, uh, sit in front of a camera, he'll answer the question as if he was in an interview, and then on some of them he'll actually dive into the code itself, which I think is really useful to figure out and truly to understand the concepts behind it. And like I said before, it's good for inspiring developers, junior developers, students hungry to learn the fundamentals of front-end development, and those looking to prepare for technical screen. I'm not looking for a job or anything. I took the course. Um, I've, I went through a bunch of the questions just as a refresher, and it was really helpful. So I'm going to go and jump into the course and we're going to take a look at it here. Obviously I can't play the videos for you guys because it's copyrighted, but you can kind of get a, an example. I'll, I'll kind of freeze frame some of the, the, uh, the video here. So the introduction right here. And by the way, Dylan Israel, he is a pretty experienced front end developer. He also has a YouTube channel that you guys can check out. Um, used to be coding tutorials 360 and now it's just his name, Dylan Israel. So you can see here, here's the slides at the beginning of the course. He, what he really wants you to do w during the course is, is to really follow along with these questions. So he's going to give you the why and what instance into why and what they want when you do a, an interview. He's going to show you how they do it, the proper ways of fully answering the questions, and then he wants you to you know, understand it as well. Uh, he also mentions later on, that you really want, the, the, the way you get the most out of this course is you have the watch, do, retain. So you're going to watch it. You're, so it's kind of like a passive learning. But he wants you actually to do it. So one great way of doing these interview questions is to throw up a camera in front of you and then try to answer it as if you were on an interview. And that really helps you retain the knowledge. And one thing you do is definitely repetition. If you re repeat it over and over again, you're going to understand it. And then he also mentioned, he gives me a, a shout out in here. Um, I, 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 uh, when he asked me what kind of interview questions I've gone through as a front-end developer, and I told him a few, and he actually included those questions in the course. Like I said, it's nine and a half hours, and it's over 100 questions. So you get, it's a ton of interview questions that you'll see on, on pretty much many, mo most front-end inter developer interviews out there. 
Uh, so l let me show you an example of one of the questions he answers. So here's the const versus let versus var. This is a really common question you get in front end developer interviews. Like what's the difference between a const, what's the difference between a let, and what's the difference between a var? And so he'll just, uh, which I'm a little bit lagging here, but you can see he'll just jump on, um, you'll see him in front of the camera, and he'll just explain it. Um, like right here, uh, he'll like, talk to you as if you were interviewing him. He'll explain what concepts an interviewer would want to hear from this type of question. And then um, he'll jump in, in some examples, he actually jump in the code just so you can kind of get a really good taste of what this is and you can really understand the concept. So if I were to study for an interview, what I would do is I would look at this example and I would, I would try to do it myself. I would talk. Um, you know, maybe to someone else as if I was in the middle of an interview. And then, I uh, say so you just go through all this. Uh, here's the asynchronous JavaScript one. So we have like REST. We have, um, that's a real question, a uh, real common question is like, what is a RESTful interface? Like, he talks about it, and then he also does a few, uh, this one he doesn't do any code examples, but he sometimes does. And then you have the general, uh, let's see here, HTML, CSS. I like this because you are going to get CSS questions on any front-end interview. And these are the ones you probably are going to get. Like, what is how? What is responsive design? What is the box model? What's the difference between a pseudo class and a pseudo element? I mean, there's a difference, and that's important to know. Uh, semantic HTML. You know, you have navs. I mean, should you create your whole web page using div? That's probably not a good idea. I mean, that's why we have things like navs and and uh, footers and, and these other HTML tags, which make it easier for people to understand your code, and it's also great for accessibility. He goes into accessibility, ARIA, ARIA classes, ARIA codes, things like that. Um, so these are really common things that you'll probably see. And then I really like this question, CSS grid versus Flexbox. Uh, this is really modern day web development. You're going to be using CSS grid and CSS Flexbox. You'll need to know the differences between the two. And when you should use one and when you should use the other. I mean, a lot of people think grid is good for a two-dimensional layout, but there's reasons why you should, could use flex, and you can use them both together, as he explains in this answer. And I believe in this one, he, he give, goes into some uh, code. Nope, not, not any code in this one. And then in section five, like dependency injection, like solid principles, like what is, how should you lay out a web page, and why you, sh or what, what is solid principles, how your code should be kind of constructed. They're static versus dynamic. Git version control is really popular and, and and something you should really know. He actually goes in, it's a 30 minute video on Git. So this is like almost a whole introduction to Git. Uh, this is, I don't, you, you'll definitely see some examples on this, but this is just good to know anyways. Agile and Scrum, some new opportunities, some mistakes you might see, um, colleagues. And by the way, this is just more like technical questions. If you're looking for doing like algorithms or take-home tests, he has a ha actually has another course on that. But this is more like technical questions you'll get. And then um, during any interview, you'll be asked like, "What do you have? Do you have any questions for the interviewer?" And in this case, you'll um, these are like good questions to ask the interviewer, like. Like, what code quality standards does the team follow? What team projects will I be on? Why are you interested in hiring me? Things like that, because you really, in any sort of interview, you're also interviewing them. They're not just interviewing you. And you have the say at the end if you want to take the job or not. And you should really keep that in mind whenever you're applying for somewhere. You never want to just jump at every any opportunity. You want to kind of take a step back and make sure it's the right opportunity for you and that you feel comfortable in the role. And if they don't align with your goals, then that's that you don't want to be in that situation. And then finally, additional resources. Uh, he has like some books he recommends. There's some places you can do mock interviews, and then he even puts a bonus lecture at the bottom. Um, so that that is pretty much the course. It's the 100 front end interview question challenge. I'd highly recommend you guys check it out. Make sure you click on the link in the description below. And since you guys made it all the way to the end, this is a quick video. I actually have three courses to give out. Uh, so actually two, two or three. I'll have to double check. So all you need to do is make you make sure you leave a comment below. Tell me what kind of interview questions you've guys gotten in the past. Make sure you click like and then also subscribe to the video. And I'll choose my favorite answers by next week. And I'll let you guys know in the next video which ones I choose. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Yeah, check out the 100 Friend and Interview Question Challenge. Take care.